Hey everybody, James here with Rococo and I'm back with another tutorial. This time I want to show you guys how to export out face capture data from Studio and import it onto your characters within Maya. So let's go ahead and get started. So as you see, we already have a face capture recording and we're just going to go ahead and export this out from Studio and attach this to our character in Maya. So in order to do that, we want to go ahead and click the exporter button and it'll bring up our export options box. And in order to uh, export out face data, you have to just make sure that this checkbox is checked and um, that the format is set to FBX. Um, otherwise, you won't be able to export out face, face data. So it, it can only export out as an FBX. So once those are, are set, you can choose uh, your FBX settings, um, whether it's ASCII or binary and the version. But other than that, I would leave everything else set as default. And then you can go ahead and click export and it'll export out to your export path. So now let's jump over to Maya and get this imported. All right, so here we are in Maya. And as you notice, we already have our character imported. So one thing to note, um, actually, if you look over in our outliner, you'll notice all of the different blend shapes that are attached to our character. And um, so this is because we're using um, the standard AR kit method. Um, so we have 52 blend shapes in here for our character's face. And um, the face capture will um, export out the same way so any character that you're using um, and trying to apply face capture to you just have to make sure that it supports the AR kit um, standard method um, and you can also use sites like polywink to auto rig um, the face of your character I'll leave um, a, a link in the description for for their website so you can uh, take a look at their tools uh, but with that being said let's go ahead and import our face capture um, so we go up to file import and then just navigate to the folder that you saved it in and we'll just go ahead and import it here and then you'll notice it imports here right at the bottom so you can click on it and we're going to move it up um, if you notice that the, your pivot is, is down below you can just hold D on your keyboard and then just drag it up towards uh, the head and then now you can navigate it a bit more easily and if your character or if you're uh, the head comes in green like this you can also change um, the color just so if you want to be able to see it uh, a bit clearer if you go up to windows rendering editors and then hypershade you'll notice these green materials here you can just uh, click and hold shift on all of these and then we can just change the color to uh, like a gray so we'll do that for all of these Alright, so that's uh, that's a bit better. And so now, um, essentially what we want to do is uh, retarget the, um, the blend shapes from this uh, head to our character. And if you notice, if we scrub the timeline, the animation plays on, our, on the um, head. And if you look over in our outliner, um, the head, it, it comes in as Rococo face root. And um, so we essentially want to go ahead and now um, just copy the keyframes um, from the, the blend shapes of this char character and then attach it to um, our own character. And, and in order to do that, you want to go ahead and click on um, just the face, and then which is right here, we're, we're highlighting the face, and then we go over to our right and you click blend shape. And you'll notice these are all the blend shapes um, that came in with our face. Um, but specifically, you want to look down in our timeline and then you see all of these keyframes here. We're gonna copy all of these keyframes. So essentially what you wanna do is double click on this timeline, it'll all highlight red, and then you're gonna right click and then go to copy. And so now that we have this copied, we're gonna select our, um, our, our character and it's just the standard mesh. And this is what holds a, a majority of our blend shapes. And so we're gonna select our, uh, our blend shapes down in input. You'll notice it, it's all right here. And then we're just going to go ahead down to our timeline, right click, and then go to paste connect. And then now, when you go ahead and scrub through the timeline, notice um, the face is now moving. Um, there's also one thing to note um, with this specific character, the way it's laid out. Um, if you also want the eyes to um, um, have you know, some of this keyframe data as well, because if you notice, if we zoom in over here um, and we scrub the timeline, the eyes do slightly move as well. Um, so we can go ahead and just keep the same data that we've already copied and then select the eyes for our character. 
go to the blend shapes and then we'll go ahead and delete what's already here so we'll just double click and then delete and then we'll go ahead and right click and then paste connect and then now when we go ahead and play the timeline you see the face and the eyes are now moving based on our uh, face mocap so that is essentially it I hope that this uh, tutorial was helpful for you guys and uh, you'll be able to now uh, attach your face mocap data to your characters inside of Maya. Thanks for watching guys. Catch you next time.